Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about the new data feeds that we're implementing and the steps that you need to take to make sure that your TrendSpider account works correctly once this upgrade is completed. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you log into TrendSpider for the first time after we implement the new data feed system is this screen. This screen will ask you to confirm to TrendSpider what data feeds you would like access to. The reason for this is we have upgraded our data feeds to a whole new set of US equity and ETF feeds from the New York Stock Exchange directly. And there are numerous benefits of doing this. Before I get into the reasons why we did this, I just wanna walk you through what the process is like so you know how to activate this in your account and what that will look like. So when you log into TrendSpider after we implement this uh, survey, you're going to be met with this screen. And this screen will ask you to confirm to the system which data feeds you would like access to. You'll notice at the top that four of them are pre-selected for you. These are the OTC slash pink sheet stocks, the US futures from the CME, foreign exchange and FX currency pairs, and cryptocurrency pairs across over 170 different crypto exchanges. These four feeds do not require an exchange agreement, and they are available to every customer without any additional paperwork. Below that, you'll see that there is a couple feeds that you can select from. The first one is US stocks and ETFs, and the second one is US CBOE indices from the CBOE. If you want access to these, and we presume that most customers would, you would need to tell us that by checking these boxes. When you do that, the proceed button will become active and you can click proceed here to move on. If you don't happen to need these data feeds, you can leave them unchecked and just check this bottom box that says, I don't need any of these feeds and that will jump you right into the system so you can just start using it on crypto or FX or whatever it is that you're interested in looking at. So when I click proceed here, um, I'm gonna be taken to the market data compliance survey. This survey is mandated by the SEC and by the New York Stock Exchange, and this is to determine whether or not you qualify as a non-professional investor. Professional investors are defined by the SEC as anybody who answers no to the first question or yes to any of the remaining questions. If you are non-professional, meaning you trade only for your own account, for your own purposes, with your own money, and that you don't manage any other individual or entity's funds, and that you don't receive any office space or fringe benefits in exchange for you trading somebody else's capital, you can leave the selections pre-checked. But we strongly, strongly recommend, in order to stay in compliance with exchange regulations, that you read every question and you answer it as accurately as you possibly can. I'm a non-professional investor, so I'm gonna leave the answers as they are. And I'm gonna check this box to tell the system that the above is correct. Next thing I'm gonna do is click proceed. This will take me to the page where I can then complete this process. And this is very simple, so it doesn't take a lot of time. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type my name in the box at the top. My name is Dan Ushman, so that's what I put in here. And then I'm gonna fill out these fields here to tell the New York Stock Exchange exactly what my occupation is, who my employer is, and what my title is. If you happen to be just an individual trader who trades your own money, you can click this little handy link here that will populate in acceptable answers that you're an individual trader who is self-employed, and since you're an individual trader, you don't have a job title associated with your trading. The New York Stock Exchange then requires that you actually read and scroll through their exchange agreement. So I'm gonna click this button here, and it's gonna load the exchange agreement. And this will be pre-populated with the answers that you provided on the survey, and we'll give you, uh, you a chance to review those answers and make sure that they are correct and accurate. And you can see that all the answers that were on the survey when I uh, a moment ago are now displayed here in this document. Once you review this, and if it is correct, you simply scroll to the bottom and click the Accept Agreement button. This will then mark the New York Stock Exchange Agreement as completed. If you also selected CBOE indices, you can review the CBOE market exchange agreement. This one is much more boilerplate uh, and it does not include any information from your survey. And you can simply click accept agreement there as well and that will check that box. And you can press submit 
and you're done. That's all that you have to do. You are now entitled to receive New York Stock Exchange data inside of TrendSpider, and when you click exit here, it'll take you into the system itself. I'm using a new account here, so it's gonna put me into the survey. I will skip that survey for now, just so you can see that once you complete this process, you'll be jumped right into the system where you can get right back to work. Everything that you did before will still be here, right? So it's not like you're actually opening a new account or changing your account. You're simply entitling your account to receive data from the New York Stock Exchange. Now, what's really amazing about the data, and I want to take a moment here to just tell you about it, is this is a much more robust data feed. The data we received today from the CBOE is great, but it only covers 8 to 11 percent of all U.S. equity trading activity. The new data feeds we've implemented here are direct from the New York Stock Exchange, and they cover over 30 percent, close to 40 percent in some cases, of all market activity in the United States. That is a significant increase in robustness. It'll give you faster chart updates. It'll create more accurate and reliable volume data, and volume is very important in TrendSpike. The other thing that I want to just highlight here is um, we didn't just do this for no reason. This upgrade enables and unlocks a significant number of system enhancements that will come in the near future. These are things like faster alerts, more scanner results, um, fewer uh, false positives and false negatives in the scanner. Uh, it'll unlock raindrop charts on more time frames and a whole plethora of new features that we're going to start announcing as soon as we complete this process of migrating all our customers into the New York Stock Exchange data feeds. If you have any questions or concerns or have need some help with the process, drop us a line. We are giving you a full week to do this before we actually switch the data feeds because the goal is to make sure everybody has a smooth transition and that there are no hiccups along the way. If for whatever reason you don't do this in time, our team will reach out to you and help guide you through it. And if you, again, if you have any questions or need any help with this, please do let us know. So that's it for today. I'm very excited about this upgrade. It's gonna make your life and my life and every trader who uses TrendSpider's life dramatically better. Um, and I hope that you can see that once you get in there and I hope that you all enjoy it. And thank you very much for your time and patience and uh, you know for being a TrendSpider customer. That's all. Have a great day.